There are things that get handed down from generation to generation, family heirlooms, if you will, photos, quilts, cleaning tips. And we did a video about a year ago where I shared the things that my mom and grandmother passed down to me. And it's not to say that my dad and grandfathers didn't clean. It was just something that came from my mom and my grandmother. And actually a lot of you guys responded to the comments in that video and you started to share the things that were passed down to you generation to generation from your parents, your grandparents or other family members. So in this video, I want to share some of that great timeless cleaning advice that came from your four mothers and fathers, the people who cleaned before you. And it's going to make you someone who can clean even better going forward. Okay. Let's hear some of these comments. And Hey, if you're looking for great cleaning advice at any and all times from an actual mom who doesn't take things too seriously, you can subscribe to the clean my space channel and give this video a thumbs up for my beautiful plants. Okay. So first up, that bad bunny said that their mom told them to rinse fresh blood stains off their clothes with cold water and put them into the washing machine. If the blood is already dry, I put a stain treatment with hydrogen peroxide on it, leave it for a few minutes and then put it into the washing machine. I've never had issues with blood stains on my clothes in my entire life. That is great advice. No one likes a blood stain. Everyone wants to get rid of a blood stain. And yes, parents should teach their children how to get rid of them. You never know when that advice is going to come in handy. Andrea Smith said, one of the things I always remember from my mom is about shopping. You like a clothing item, check the price, check how you wash it, determine if you still like it, then try it on. Washing is key. I spend a lot less money this way and I don't regret my purchase. Thanks mom. Such good advice. I actually decided to start doing that after I spent a lot of time reading care labels and actually seeing a lot of my clothes get ruined because I wasn't taking good care of them. So Andrea, your mom was right on point. Here's a contentious one from Christina Powers. My mom and dad taught us kids to wash our dishes in order, silverware, glasses, plates, pots, and pans. But when we got the dishwasher, we had to rinse them before putting them in the dishwasher until this day. I rinse them before I put them in. So let us know in the comments if you agree or disagree with the rinsing before the dishwasher. But either way, I, I really like that um, Christina's parents taught them the order because you always want to hand wash your stuff from the cleanest to the dirtiest and that's how you save water. So that was a great tip. This comes from Y18 who says, my mom used to say to me and my siblings in French, and I'm, I'm just going to apologize ahead of time. I know I'm Canadian. I know we're a bilingual country. So here goes. Si vous ne rangez pas, ne dérangez pas. Meaning if you don't tidy up, do not untidy anything. Hardly achievable, but you know what? That is great advice in any language. Jennifer Queen says when I'm dusting, I can hear my mom's voice telling me to pick up the lamp. Don't just dust around it. And that is precisely how I like to train my staff when we go in and do a professional cleaning. Cleaning is not just cleaning around things. It's picking things up, cleaning underneath, cleaning the thing itself, and then putting it back nice and neatly. So Jennifer, good on your mom. Diane O says my mother's cleaning quirk, which I can agree with and I can agree with too. Mom had a thing about hair stuck to bars of soap. I mean, phobic proportions. Clean that soap off after you use it to clean yourself. And I'm not going to disagree with that one. Finding a hair in a bathroom or in a kitchen or like anywhere that's not on your head is truly a gross experience. So Diane, I'm, I'm vibing with your mom there. Now here's one I also want you guys to let me know your thoughts on in the comments down below. Write it down says we are a shoes off household. I feel like leaving your shoes in a tray by the door avoids tracking in a lot of dirt and bacteria. We don't ask or force guests to do it, but a lot do it when they see the tray of shoes by the door. Now there are many cases to be made for wearing shoes indoors, particularly if you have hard floor surfaces, it can wear the bottom of your feet down. It can be difficult for someone to walk on those types of floors without arch support or foot support. So the answer to that would be to get indoor shoes. In our house, we are a shoes off facility, but I'd love to know your thoughts down below. 
Viola Ilya says, don't put it down, put it away. I literally never have to do wave one in my house because everything always gets put away very frequently throughout the day. Mind you, I don't have kids, so that helps. Now, if you don't know what wave one is, I will link a video down below for you to our three wave system so you know exactly what she's talking about. But basically, what she is doing here is keeping her hands full, moving clutter throughout her house so that there's never anything in a place where it's not supposed to be. And that really does help make messes manageable or non-existent but it is true. Having kids definitely makes your house more messy. Here's one that I think we've probably all heard before. It's from Ashley Cosgrove who says, elbow grease. My mom's father was a US Marine who taught her fastidious cleaning habits. And one of them was to use elbow grease, extra effort to get into those hard to clean places. I use it with my kids and I think about it when I'm scrubbing a particularly difficult spot. Thanks mom and grandpa. You know what? Nothing wrong with encouraging people to use elbow grease. It's kind of getting over that hump of laziness, but once you use it and you see the effect it can have on the work that you're doing, you're a little bit more inclined to try it next time. So thanks to your grandpa for his service. And I suppose parents, if your kids are really messy, you could always send them to the army and maybe they'll learn a thing or two. This one's super subtle, but I did learn this while I was a server. And I think it's an excellent tip. Rupali Carlos, Sorry, Rupali Kalra says, always hold silverware from the handle when handing it to someone. Never hold a glass of water or drink from where one's mouth is supposed to touch it. Always, always wash your hands before eating and drinking or entering the home from outside or entering the kitchen. These are just really good tips to keep your home and yourself clean and healthy and honestly, Pre 2020, we probably would have said, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. But now I feel like this is something that is on everyone's mind. And hopefully we are all practicing what Rupali's parents taught her. I like the way this one is put. Jackie Klingman says, when I was young, my mom always put the kitchen to bed. I've never heard that, but it's adorable. Right before she went to bed, any dishes, cups, a stray fork, whatever, was in, went in the dishwasher. The dishwasher is running, the kitchen sink is clean, the trash is out, and any clean dishes are put away for the night. Wow, your mom's a champ. I wish I was that mom. I can't say that I always put my kitchen to bed, but I really make a valiant effort. So Jackie, I'm glad your mom taught that to you. And I'm glad that you took that one on. Now it sounds to me like Vicky's mom was truly a Jill of all trades. She said, hi, my sister and I were brought up in the 1950s, riding a city bus to town every Saturday. Of course, we always had to make multiple stops at a public restroom. I'm 69 now and my mother has passed, but I clearly remember when we did number one or number two, she lined all four sides of the toilet seats with two to three layers of toilet paper. Then she gave strict orders that we were not to touch anything and she would take TP to flush for us. She taught us so many things like that and to turn off the lights when we left our room to keep our clothes picked up and to keep surfaces in the kitchen clean too. Okay, my mom was totally a toilet paper seat, a toilet seat, toilet paper lasagna-er as well. And I'd love to know if your mom or dad did that for you when you were in a public restroom. Like my mom had a whole toilet routine and actually now I am, I'm figuring out my toilet routine with Riley. Uh, I'm actually really trying to get her not to touch the sanitary disposal bin, which seems to be a particular point of fascination for her right now. But anyway, that's a whole other story. Well, now that we know all of the good habits, and by the way, if you want to see any more, you can read the comments in that previous video. I've got that linked for you down below. There were so many great habits in there, but I'd actually love to know what are the bad habits that your parents taught you or that you picked up and you really don't want to pass on to your kids. I mean, Aside from the fact that I am near perfect, I would say the thing that I don't want Riley to do is to leave her clothes on the floor. Guys, I've talked about this for years. It is something I have been trying to work on, but I really suck at it and I still leave my clothes on the floor at the end of the day. I've probably, I've improved marginally, but I still have a ways to go. And I see Riley do it and I try to get her to pick up and put her stuff, you know, in her hamper, but 
like mother, like daughter. So we got to work on that. And if you want to hear any of my other bad habits, well, you can just go and pester Chad on his Instagram. <laughs> he has all kinds of opinions. Anyway, let me know what your bad habits from your parents or the ones that you really don't want to pass on to your kids, present or future. Let me know what they are down below. And if you want to see that video where I share all of the great cleaning habits I learned from my mom and her mom, you can click this video right over here. My mom is like pretty next level when it comes to cleaning. So check it out. And if you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.